I just keep telling me, no, no, we don't need this, we don't need that. I just keep saying, okay, sure, whatever. I'm not staying in Airbnb anymore. I'm staying in my crib, my house. No, I already told him you can't come because your parents are moving mad. Oh, yeah. why did you say that? I had to. Don't want to slap this whip reverse. What's to the west we pull up and burst? Wow. This GTC's done mileage, really can't afford to crash and burn. Can I bend down and black your back? Feel free, free, that's all I tap. <laughs> What's good out there gang? I'm back again with another bang. Um, I know there was no enthusiasm in that. I thought like I don't even deserve to give you guys enthusiasm. Simply because of the fact that I've been so inconsistent and my content of recently has just been poor. I have my reasons, but I just don't feel like they're justifiable, so there's just no need for me to say them. Um, but in terms of apology, I feel like, because I'm going to Nigeria right now, literally driving to the airport, I'm going to try my hardest to give you guys vlogs literally every single day of like my trip and I'm going for one month so that's one month of daily daily vlogs well I'm going to try my hardest anyways and right now it's raining in this country oh my god I don't understand this UK at all like they can't even just give us sunshine for more than a week we get sunshine for like three days and then it's just all of a sudden it just starts to rain the clouds are so grey and everything is just dull but anyways I'm not really going to do too much with the whole vlog like show you the airport and so on and so forth I feel like the next time you lot see me, I'm just going to be in Nange and if I'm there, the vlogs are going to be so casual, simple, enjoyable and I'm going to take you guys for the goods, the bads and everything man, literally so hope you guys enjoy, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys in Nigeria, peace I literally had one of the worst flights ever and it's like that was never their plans or intentions normally when I take flights to like Africa or Nigeria or anywhere that's long I always get extra leg space just because I don't want my leg to be all cramped up but I don't know what happened to Virgin maybe they're like on budget now but the extra leg space that I got the seat was so tight and obviously when I first got there I sat somewhere else well there was two seats in the extra leg space I sat on the side that wasn't meant for me and then the guy came and got onto me and was like, oh, that's my seat. And then I had to move. So that, that was the first thing that even pissed me off. And his one was a bit more like free, but my one was really, really tight. That was the first thing. Secondly, uh, I was sat next to some guy and his kids and his wife. And the kids just kept asking bare questions and I was making so much noise. And the thing is the dad was sat behind me, but the kids were sat in front of me. So he kept getting up to go speak to the kids like every second. Like, you know those dads that just do the dad job a bit too much? He was just doing dad a bit too much. And every time he'd walk past to go like see the kids, there's just too much noise in this airport. But every time he'd walk past to go see the kids, literally here and there, this guy would be brushing me, hitting me. Yeah, boss, you're good. But, um, I might want to get in the video so bad. But you know, yeah, literally, he'll be hitting me, brushing me, pissing me off. Do you want to say hello, boss? <laughs> He's good. Yeah, but literally after that, I was just like, yeah, this guy's pissing me off. That's the second thing. Say hello, boss. It's a camera, it's a camera. Yeah, so yeah, even right now, these lot are pissing me off. They don't know what camera is. It's just a camera, look. It's a camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just recording myself. Where is he? Is that him? Hold on. That's not him. That's not him. This one behind? This one behind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all the same, man. All these cars are all the same. But that's him, that's him. That's him. He's the one that has the cars. I don't have cars. I don't have cars. Okay, go. I came from the UK. I ain't got dollars. He was going to help me. I could have done it myself. Okay. Your cars are just tinted now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, How far is the house from here? Yeah, okay. Fine. Stop it. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. My head is hurting me right now. I haven't just had two passes to move. 
Cause my head is killing me. Yay. It's calm. So we just landed. I'm about to have a nap in a second. Oh, so we literally just finished checking in. Not the house properly later. But I've got a list of things I need to do. I haven't all down. Um, I've got to sort the Wi-Fi here. Um, I forgot there's no fridge. I forgot to buy a fridge. Um, I've got to get cutlery's plates, so on and so forth. Um, there needs to be gas in the kitchen. I've got to sort out things for the bathroom, like towel, cleaning products, and so on and so forth. I've got a BQ downstairs, which is the boys' quarters. I have no bed in there, nothing. I've got to sort that out. Um, the living room, there's a broken stool. We've got to replace that. The hot water works. I don't know why I wrote that down. I want to get a speaker for this area, because this area is really, really nice. Um, it's got a TV as well, and it's got a pool table right there. And I got to get bed sheets and just yeah towels and just basic things for the house because I couldn't even shower before I came here because I had no towel and I didn't want things to be dripping in places. And you see the thing about Nigerian houses, they use towels and the floors are so hard to clean after. So you you need to have like towels and things ready to clean. So yeah, throughout the whole of today, I'm just gonna be taking you guys through like the whole shopping, taking you guys through the vlog of what I'm buying, where I'm going to. So that's probably what today is going to be all about. Um, obviously, I hope you guys enjoy because the vlog is not over yet. But yeah, it's just going to be like a day with me trying to just sort out things for this house. And then maybe tomorrow, I'll give you guys a proper full tour of the house. So yeah, let's go. So we literally just got to where the Wi-Fi place is. It's called SpectraNet. It's parking up. Literally, all the shops are always combined together when you're in places like this. I don't know why. Yo, this camera that I've got right now is so much easier to vlog with. Let me show you guys what it looks like. I don't know how I feel about that. They said they're gonna contact us. Well, we didn't even get anything done. They said they're gonna contact us. That's so weird. They should at least have given us some sort of something. But now we have to wait for them to contact us. So basically what the situation is, um, they can't just give us the Wi-Fi instantly. It's in the UK where you just pay and get things done. But um, they took my name, my email, phone number. And someone's going to contact me to come and do like a survey, like to check the whole house so then they can proper organise. So yeah, the seatbelt thing is going off. So they can proper organise the, the how they're going to put the Wi-Fi in certain places in the house. So we're going shopping now <coughs> to buy the house things. And then, yeah, that should be it for today. So we're gonna be doing majority of the shopping in ShopRite. It's better than going to like, different places. ShopRite actually has everything, literally like everything. They even have an electronic store. So I'm hoping after this, like everything will be done. And then the Wi-Fi, they're gonna come and do a survey check-in later today. So that'll be done as well. I'm just trying to have a quick short day. I'm not really trying to be about. And it's not really that hot in Nigeria right now. It's just a bit, do you know what I mean? It's just, it is what it is. People are watching me vlog. But yeah, after this, I should just go back home, eat and just chill for the day. I'm gonna show you guys everything I'm gonna buy from ShopRite in a second. So let's go. Tissues. Uh, I don't see them in individuals. I said, what? Well, no, these are for spray for like toilets. You have, if you have a poo, <laughs> what is this thing? Uh, one more. Uh, you see the way my uncle just keeps being cheap. Every time I pick something up, he'd be like, no, that's too much, get something else. Like, he's just trying to be cheap, but he forgets, like, at the end of the day, when I'm in the UK, when I do things, I like to be extra. If I'm gonna buy one, let me buy three just in case. But he doesn't get that, he just keeps telling me, no, no, we don't need this, we don't need that. I just keep saying, okay, sure, whatever. Um, we just got a little, like a few things left to buy, like cutlery, plates, um, like foot mats, and so on and so forth. 
So we're about to finish now at ShopRite and then we're gonna make our way to somewhere else where we can get these other things. So yeah, let's go. Sorry. So I don't know if I'm going to I'll tell you guys how much that is in pounds. One second. pounds worth of things over there. Crazy. 320 pounds. What the hell? I did not think it was going to be that. I thought I was looking to spend like, like 110 pounds. Max, bro. Crazy. Oh my god. So my uncle's gonna go get the car a bit closer because I didn't plan to come to Nigeria to be getting wet by rain. That's just annoying. So it's gonna bring the car really, really close and then we can just put everything in there. But like I said, I spent £320 here. Personally, if that was in the UK, I was looking at a solid £1,000. But it was still kind of a lot. But you know, I got a four, five bedroom house. I've got to accommodate every single bedroom. I think that guy that was just pushing the trolley for us just went to go get me an umbrella. So I'm just waiting for him to come back with that. Oh, thank you. Is that an umbrella? Yeah. This is big. <laughs> <laughs> How massive this is, bro. Oh my god. Okay, cool. We'll wait for him to come in it. Yeah, boss. Hey, boss. Let's dance the car. Have you guys in the car? There you go. Thanks, boss. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. You're trying to spoil me. Ah, that's just a way of getting money. I'm sure my uncle will sort him out because I ain't even got any cash. And I make sure I do this on purpose. So whenever they ask for money, all I have is my card. Because if you have cash, nigga, that money's all gone. That was stressful. That was quick though. Um, I think we just have little things now left like the fridge. We've got to go buy the fridge. Plates, fork, knives, all those little things. You good, Osama? Eh? You good? It's good. Yeah. Uh, what do I have? Do you have anything? I don't have cash. Uh, is there any cash? Oh, no, no. Wait. Take care. Thank you. Yeah. Bless you. So my uncle decided to take the wrong turn. And now we're just going to have to walk all the way to the shop. We're currently in the middle of nowhere. He's out here doing a piss. But yeah, we're gonna walk towards the shop now to get the fridge. The, we were supposed to go to a different mall before, but they ended up closing. But now we're just gonna go by the fridge by itself. And I think we're just gonna sort everything else later, man. This is getting a bit tiring now. And I'm hungry as well. So yeah, we're just walking towards the place to get the fridge now. These boxes. This is literally what we need. Just calm fridge like this. Yeah. Let's see, let's see. So yeah, we just finally got the fridge. We're about to pay for that and then go back home. Where are we going to after this? Where are we going to after this? After this, we should go home. So we're gonna leave the plates and everything for later. This place. Yeah, the plates and the. Plate. And when we get to that side, as we're going now. Alright, cool. Um, what does we really need? I was going to get speakers. 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 Yeah. I never seen the time So it's the second day now and we're about to go finish all the shopping. We've got the fridge coming now. I think the guy said he's going to be here in like 15 minutes. And then we've got the guy that's going to come sort out the gas. Said he's going to be here in like five minutes. Right now, me and my uncle have to go buy the actual gas cylinder. I will check it 
Okay. Um, we have to go buy the actual gas cylinder. It's not like the UK homes where there's already gas there. We gotta buy the actual gas that we're gonna use. So we're gonna go buy that now. And then after that, the chef is gonna be here. So we're gonna have a chef that's gonna be cooking for us. So we're gonna need to go do shopping for the chef to buy everything we need, even drinks and food in the house. And we also need the cutleries, the plates. We need the forks and knives. We didn't even get to buy that yesterday. Um, and I think that should be it. Let me check my phone. Oh, and we need bed sheets because right now I'm sleeping on just plain beds with no sheets. It's a bit weird. Like I, f I can literally feel the material throughout the whole time. And oh yeah, we need, I also want to get a little single bed for the BQ, the boys who are, because that's where the chef is going to be staying. So we can't have us staying in the main house. And I think that should be it. Yeah. And then after that. I can start my day properly so that would just be the whole of this you know day vlog showing you guys the shopping setting things up and so on and so forth so i'll see you guys soon so that's the last price i literally just redrew 10k naira like just sat in the car i didn't even have to get up these lot over here they do have settings what they do is they just come up to you with a um, like a card machine they charge you ten thousand pounds and they give you cash straight away it makes life so much easier oh someone's calling my uncle hello okay cool one second we're coming now just stay there yeah as i was saying so um i have to take out cash because most of these people don't take card so my uncle's got to buy me some watermelon because at this point, I don't know when I'm going to eat breakfast. And oh, this guy's looking at me like that. And we, we bought the cylinder for the gas. And after that, we're going to go home. Kind of like the hunger got the best of me, so we're about to get some bread and beans. If you don't eat street food, yeah, then you're not eating good food. It's always nice. Hey, wow. So literally we spent um it was 1700 naira in total for two bread um and two beans with meat and so on and so forth practically a whole breakfast like a whole meal and in pounds that came up to two pounds ten p like two pounds ten p for a full breakfast to like come on and it's actually gonna fill me up for like practically the whole day mate that's crazy <laughs> that'd be mad but we need to get water from somewhere just gonna try some of the food now this is the bread like i said i've got two of these and two of the actual beans with me for two pounds Bro, you're not eating like that in the UK, bro. Something like this, you're looking at 15 pounds minimum. Oh, this is oily. I do not want to get this table dirty. One second, guys. Guys, apparently as a man it's a bit worrying to have this many perfume but I just feel like this is not even enough um, these are all like branded perfumes but like it was made from like a different person but who knows how to make it if you get what I mean this is Chanel Blue this is Tom Ford this is um, Versace this is um, Golden Dust it says it right there I didn't know I was even looking and these are like my Oods this is like my favourite one this is Sun, Sun Must it's like I got it from those places in Stratford um, yeah, like I feel like a bit of all of them needs to be inside of me and if you smell me, you know I smell good. 
Oh, yo, that free slump's been a real, but guys, while I wait for the guy that's going to come and do the Wi-Fi setup, um, I think I'm just going to go to the gym. There's a gym that's like 10 minutes away, and I don't want to get carried away with just eating and not working out, so I'm going to head to the gym. I'm not going to bring the camera with me, because everyone in the gym in Nigeria are always like observing, they're trying to not get recorded and so on and so forth, so um, I'm going to leave the camera at home, and then I'll see you guys when I get back. Let's know that we didn't amount to that shop. I think we spent like 500k an hour, which is like 600 pounds or more. We everything that we needed. We got the cutleries, we got the pots, we got the floor mats, we got the bins. So that last shot wasn't allowing me to record. I don't know why they were moving so bougie. Like I'm in a, I'm in a shopping market. Like why can't I record? But anyways, I showed you guys what we got at the end, Sha. Um, just to end the day, I'm getting a club sandwich from my favourite place. It's called Kingfisher. If you ever come to Nige and you like club sandwich, go to Kingfisher. Their club sandwich is ridiculous. So I'm just going to get that and when I get home, I'm going to put my legs up in the pool and I'm just going to sip on my champagne. I bought a champagne, I'll show you guys that later. And I'm just going to relax for the, till the end of the day. It's a bit windy. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog so far. It's coming towards the end of it. I don't know what else to show you guys in the first two days of me preparing. Um, but just know that the next vlog that you guys see, I'll give you guys a tour of the house. So I'll see you guys when I get to the house and I'm chilling. So guys, this is like one of the most busiest market. Well, not one of the most busiest, but it's a very busy market in Lagos. And as you can see, there's a lot going on behind me. There's gonna, there's gonna be kids that wanna get involved following me. As soon as they see a black guy with a camera, they think it's a documentary, but I'm just here, bro. Uh, I think right now we're looking for some chicken to buy. But, hello. Then why are you coming to me then? <laughs> Good day, these are already children being filming, but I don't know why I'm missing a lot of people have been complaining every time I bring up my camera. I think it's because all these white guys that come to the country are starting and matching. But yeah, these are moving mad when I make up my camera, so I'm trying not to now. Two five by one. I want two five. Uh, one two, one three. Okay. Two five. Oh, yes, oh, yeah. Give me two. Alright, cool. So um, we are officially done with all of the shopping. For everything the house is actually really ready like it's really really ready um everything is in line we've got the pots we've got the fridge we got the cutleries we've got the plates like if you want to come and stay here listen you're welcome here like this is what i'm here to do anyway this is a business so i'll show you guys a proper tour when i get back from ghana i'm very very spontaneous like literally five minutes ago my boy just called me saying that there's a wedding in ghana i should pull up last minute that come I'm literally booking it right now. Me and my brother are gonna go for four days. Gonna be back on the seventh. I'll keep the vlog going there so you guys see everything. But this will be the end of the first two days in Lagos. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and just comment anything you'd like to see in Ghana. Let's go. You guys have probably seen Amma by now. We did a very silly video yeah. together. Yeah. We'll see you guys at the airport. I'm following him too. No, I already told him you can't come because your parents are moving mad. Oh, yeah. why did you say that? I, I had to. Then one slap this whip reverse What's of the rest we pull up and burst Bow. This GTC's done mileage Really can't afford to crash and burn Can I bend down and black your back Feel free free that's all I tap <laughs> This night tech fleece too jumpy Your rebound trust me don't